I'm Bonnie Spindler, and I'm here with the American Dream. Today, we're in a hidden in plain sight little area called Coal Valley in the middle of urban San Francisco. And it's a favorite secret of San Franciscans. It has everything, hardware stores, restaurants, shops, and it's walking distance to a lot of other neighborhoods. The neighborhood is tied to Richard Cole. He was a bit of a bomb vivant, and he was an amazing surgeon. He pioneered the C-section for women, and it was considered nothing short of miraculous. He was also on the Board of Supervisors and voted with the Outside Lands Committee to create a thousand acre park called Golden Gate Park. He was instrumental in creating UCSF, was a dean, and considered one of their most interesting teachers. It's no wonder that the area was named after him. So this house was built in the late 1880s by B. F. Woodall. He was a civil servant who lived in the area at the turn of the century. The house had been lived in since 1963 by the same family and it had been largely untouched. Now the beauty of that is that a lot of the original details are still in place. Fireplaces, tile, plaster moldings, woodwork, wainscoting, things like that. So we're gonna do a restoration before and after and we'll show you how you can keep the original details and yet still make it contemporary and clean for today's buyers. So in this house, we repainted the outside, the inside, we redid all of the hardwood floors, and we replaced all the light fixtures. The really nice thing, the thing that came out the best, was this bookcase, which works beautifully as a door between the dining room and the bathroom. There really aren't that many more of these things left. And so uh, we made a decision to leave this, to re-varnish the wood, to refinish the sink, and to put new marble countertops and new appliances. So that really gave it a fresh feel, but also retained the antique aspects of the kitchen. A month ago, there were 40 years worth of fallen leaves and overgrown branches. I wouldn't have even been able to stand right here where we're shooting today. We kept, of course, the enormous, beautiful dry rock wall in the back of the property, and now you can actually see it. The property has been opened up for views, and yet it still feels green and sylvan and private. Thank you so much for joining me on this before and after tour of a Victorian. Now you know what to keep and what to tear out and how to really get a house ready for sale that doesn't destroy the original value of the house. When you look at the shocking before pictures and then how spectacular it is afterwards and you realize that it was paint, floors, and switching out light fixtures, it's really kind of astonishing what can be done on a pretty small budget. And that's what I like to tell my sellers, that it really doesn't cost as much as you think it's going to. I'm Bonnie Spindler. This has been the American Dream, and I'll see you again next month. <laughs>